What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and today we have week five of the fifth season of the GBA. We are going up against division and conference rival Lars and the Borussia Don fan. These guys have a three and one record. They are currently sitting in the top of our division. And uh, if we beat them, we will have a tied record. So uh, I'm super nerve sided today. A little nervous, a little excited. Uh, Lars is a great battler. He's a good friend. We have a bet going on, if you guys didn't know. Whoever, because at one point we were two of the smallest channels in the league. And so whoever ends the season with the fewest subs, we're going to do it. So, who wins, essentially. We're battle for the smallest. Uh, I'm going to show you guys my team just really... No, I'm not because it's in the battle... Wait, can I do it anyway? Battle box? Nope. This is just who's currently in my team. That's not going to work. Uh, I'm going to hit battle start here, and we are going to go into it. There we go. Show you my battle box here, and then we'll put away the mod I'm not bringing. Not bringing this one, this one, this one, uh, this one... And he is bringing... Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Uh, some good news and some bad news. I actually did think there was a chance he would bring the Luxray. With the Intimidate, it's pretty good against my physical attackers, but it doesn't have a whole lot for me. So, he's bringing Mega Agsol, Luxray. He's not bringing Drudagon. I thought there might have been a chance for Drudagon or Luxray. Or Slow King is the main primary answers. That's going to be a physically defensive Slow King. No Scallopede. He did bring Delphox, which is curious really can't do much to uh, to some of my Pokemon here. Uh, he didn't bring Tangrowth, as to be expected. He did not bring Cobalion, which is a good thing. That C Crobat is probably banded to try and wall break a little bit. Uh, no Azumarill, which is a good sign. And then Landorus. He's got his six, I got my six. Now let's think. Uh, good lead options for him. Crobat for that U-turn. Get his Mega Evo off right away with Absol. Could go right, I don't, I mean, maybe Volt Switch on potentially a, what is a Scarfed Luxray. It could be a Scarfed Intimidate Luxray to come in on either of my two offensive threats, intimidate them, and then try and go for an Oko move. Um, but I think Nado Nado is a good lead here. Most of the Mon that he brought can't one-shot them necessarily. And uh, he may lead with the Slow King, and that would be unfortunate. But if he doesn't lead with Absol, and he doesn't lead with someone that's going to really pressure me, like one hit or two hit KO me, then I can get the Rocks up first turn. He'll see that I don't have any way to get rid of Rocks, so he may want to get up Rocks also. He's going to lead with Flairdormouse. Okay, so he could go for like a Super Fang here or something. Or we'll see whether or not he's banded. But now is definitely... Oh, you know what? He could be special. I have not calced that one yet. Um, I haven't calced whether or not this guy could have been a like a nasty setup from the get-go. It's not going to do much. He's probably just going to U-turn. I'm going to get up my rocks. He could have packed Super Fang. He might go for it here. He's going to go for the taunt. Okay. Could have been a little obvious, but I don't really have a lot for it. Uh, now might be a good time for him to go for Super Fang or something. Yeah, I should have... I, kn I know this Pokemon gets taunt, I just... I. Hmm. A couple of things he could do here. It really depends on his set. If he's got taunt, I imagine he's running a support set. Probably got Roost, maybe Defog, uh, maybe Toxic. Let's go into... Do I really want to go into trip? Do I really want to go into trip right now? That's kind of a risk. So I, I mean, I just, I don't think he's going for Brave Bird. He's probably going for maybe Toxic or Super Fang or U-Turn. So let's go into trip and kind of, and see what this does for me. I could have, if I predicted the U-Turn, I could have gone for the Earthquake there, but I didn't want to do that. Um... He is going to go for the U-turn. We'll kind of see how much that does to me. That does... Is that 40? 30? 30. 30 damage. So, slight attack investment. Very slight. He's going to go into the Del Fox here. Now, a couple things. I have calced situations where this could be Power Herb. And that would allow him to go for a, a Solar Beam against Vaporeon. But a Solar Beam 
against a the Vaporeon set that I brought. Uh, if it's if it's got that set, that means it doesn't have a damage boosting item. I think it should do not all that much. Solar beam, yeah, should shouldn't even do half. Well, I could do around about half. So this should be my switch into this Pokemon all day. Oh, Siri, stop it! No, you get one phone. I told you, you get one, Siri. Just, I mean, I I know the fire type move is obvious, and he could definitely predict, but Zoolander is my switch all day for this Pokemon. Um, so I have to do it. If he's got something packed, he could have the Grass Knot. It really won't hit me for much unless he's um, Specs. Switcheroo, so he's got um, a Scarf probably. Yep, okay. That's not a big deal. That really isn't. Now I can start firing off really powerful Scalds, except that he's probably going to go into his Slow King here. And if he's going into Slow King... If he's going into Slow King, I could go into Trip. I don't want to overthink this really. Slow King is a pretty obvious switch for him. Trick, probably a fire type move, probably a grass type move, but I'm going to outspeed him here maybe with, no, not with the scarf, not with my investment. Let's go into trip, because uh, I really don't think he's going for a fire type move. Who does he have for me? Suck it, Bob. Yeah, he's going into the slow king here. I'll switch over. Now, he probably has Psychic, but I have an Assault Vest, and it's possible he also has an Assault Vest. If he does, um, I wonder if Psychic or Fire Blast would do more. Probably Psychic, because it's Stab, but the numbers... Yeah, a little bit more with his Psychic. Giga Drain won't do a whole hell of a lot to him, but if he's going for Psychic... I mean, I could have just stayed in with Zoolander. He couldn't really do a whole lot to me. This is a good Mon against my team. I will not lie. Um, Foul Play is probably going to do the most damage if he's Assault Vest. But he might be fully defensive, which is what I think he is. I think he's fully defensive. He could potentially be some form of setup. I think the best move here is Giga Drain. Or is it Foul Play? Foul Play is going to do more damage. If he's fully defensive, it does about the same. This will be a good scout move, scout turn for me. I don't need the Giga Drain yet. He's going to withdraw right away. Let's see what gets hit by this Foul Play here. Flurdermouse! The Crobat. Let's see how much you take from this. Not much. <laughs> Not much indeed, Mr. Crobat. Uh, I'm assuming that's a kind of that's a defensive Crobat. Kind of looks like it. Kind of looks like it. It's not going to go for Taunt. Could go for the U-turn. Could go for the Brave Bird. Could go for the Taunt. He won't go for the Taunt though. Could go for the Super Fang maybe. I do have Hidden Power Ice, but I doubt it'll do much to him. Only a slightly more than the Foul Play would. And he probably has Roost, so there's not really a reason for it. The problem is that my primary switch in Hippowdon can't do a whole heck of a lot. Uh, let's do it anyway. Because he could go for a U-turn here. And then he doesn't have his Taunter on the field against me. If he goes for an attack... He might go for Super Fang. I hope he doesn't. He does go straight away for the Brave Bird. Okay. So that did some. <laughs> that did some damage. So we've seen Brave Bird and Taunt and U-Turn. Brave Bird, Taunt, U-Turn.
He could go for the Taunt here, or he could go for a U-turn. I don't think he's going to go for another Brave Bird. I'm going to switch in Decisions. Who will uh, not care about being taunted, will not care about a U-turn, and from a defensive support Crobat, shouldn't take too much from, a, uh, from that attack. So let's see what he does here. Show me the Taunt. He does go for the Taunt, so now we're in with Decisions. A Taunted Decisions, who has to go for an attack. His switch here is probably Slowking. I wouldn't mind burning it. I would prefer to Toxic it. Of course, I'm Taunted, so there's that. He could go for the U-turn here to bring in the Slowking. Um, I'm assuming he has Speed Investment, but if he doesn't, then I could hit him with a Stone Edge. So he might just go straight away for the, uh, for the hard switch. And I'm pretty sure my best my best move here is going to be Stone Edge, almost certainly. Where's my uh, where are my calcs? Entei Stone Edge against Slow King is 34 to 41. Sacred Fire is 25 to 30. The chance to burn. I'd rather Toxic it than burn it. Mmm. Tough. Tough, tough, tough. Let's go for the Sacred Fire. I'm pretty sure he's switching into... He is going to go for the U-turn, so he is faster than me. So maybe some HP speed investment. That does next to nothing to me. It would be a very ballsy move to go into the Luxray. Uh, he is going to go into Suck It Bob. Let's try and get a burn here. 50% chance. I know he resists this. I miss. Alright. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Could go Remix. Uh, kind of scout his set a little bit. See all of his moves. I'm assuming it's probably Scald. Power Gem. Maybe Fire. Psychic, probably. And then uh, if he's Assault. If he's not Assault Vest, probably Slack Off. And if I switch into Remix, I could then get the Regenerator on the out switch. So let's go Remix here. Could have Calm Mind. And we are going to see, it is a Calm Mind set. Mm. So I switched in a little bit early for this one. Slack Off, Scald, Psyshock, Calm Mind. Psyshock, um, my, I do have defense investment on several of my mons here. Man, I wish I hadn't missed that. That attack with Entei. He does have slack off. This will be a problem. He does have the Psy Shock. And he's at plus one now. And that's Psy Shock. Yeah, that'll two hit KO me, unfortunately. Oof. Let's go into... Uh, let's go into Trip. If he goes for a Psy Shock here, I have to switch immediately after. He might go for another Calm Mind. He goes for the Scald. So I shouldn't take much from that. Uh, please don't get the burn. He gets the burn. Shoot. Psy Shock's going to do a lot. I have to... At plus one, will Giga Drain do almost as much? No. Giga Drain will do less. It'll get me a small amount of health back. Probably Sludge Bomb does hardly anything. I'd like to get a status on this guy, but I think I need to go for foul play here. He's going to go for the Psy Shock. Shouldn't kill me unless he has a high, high, high investment. It doesn't kill me. The burn may. Wow, how did that... Oh, because I'm burned. Oh, I keep forgetting about the burn. Ah, uh, 
man, I played that so bad. I could switch out here, but there's not a whole heck of a lot of a reason to. Oh, I did this so badly. Um, I'm going to switch into... If I want to sack trip, I can do it later. So I'm going to switch into Remix, who shouldn't take much from... Ugh, I hate that I forget that burn affects that. Not that Giga Drain would have done a lot more, but still would have been better. He's gonna go for the Scald here, switch it up. It's a crit, no burn, luckily. Now, he is going to win this battle. This face-off here. Let's get a couple of Scalds in on my own. Try and get a burn on him. Good, I do get a burn on him. The main reason for that is... So he is going to go for Calm Mind here. The main reason for attempting to get that burn... Is that... Uh, I'm in trouble, guys. I am. Zoolander has some defense investment, but I still think at plus two that Psy Shock's going to basically do him in. Yeah, it'll be a two-hit KO, and I can't really do anything in return. Okay, what are my thoughts? What are my feelings on this? Uh, I need to get offensive Pokemon in back-to-back. -back. That means I'm going to have to sacrifice one of them in order to get as much damage on this guy as possible. I'm assuming max physical... Phone, I told you, you only get one. You're gone. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Let's go trip again. He goes for Scald. Maybe I can live a plus two Scald with my Assault Vest. Yes, I can. And the Burn. This will net me an extra tick of leftovers for him and Burn for him. Getting him only slightly lower, but, you know, it's not nothing. Uh, he could go for a Calm Mind here. I don't think it's in his best interest. I'm going to click Giga Drain. He should just finish me off. He is going to go for the Calm Mind. The thing is, at this point, he already kills a majority of the things. This should allow me to survive um, one more here. I was considering bringing Roar on Vaporeon. That would have been a great answer to this. I do live... There's a good chance he goes for Recover here. Uh, I need to play a little bit... I need to play a little bit ballsy. If he goes for Recover, then I can go in... <sighs> Slow King versus Slow King. Slow King, Defensive, let's call it Full Defense. I'm really behind the 8-ball here, guys, so I apologize for size shock, for calcing as much as I am, but I think it is necessary here. I mean, I think he's going to recover. Let's go into Remix. Like, I could have taken that advantage to go into Cuddles and try and get 50% um, off with my first attack and then 50% off with Entei on the second attack. He's gonna, yeah, he is going to heal here. So I'm plus 3, plus 3. He's plus 3, plus 3. Um, we can start exchanging Psy Shocks a little bit. I 
I know he resists it. I know he resists both of these stab. His defense is not getting boosted by this, only his special defense. So that doesn't do nothing. He's going to go for the side shot kill on me as I'm going for it on him. Curiously similar amounts of damage being dealt after the burn and the lefties. Now, he can't really switch out here. Oh, he did switch out. Oh, into Absol. Okay. Yeah. A good move on his part. Okay, we've weathered the storm, guys. We didn't lose Trip. <laughs> He's low, but we didn't lose him. He's low, but we didn't lose him. Um, Mega Absol. Uh, the highest amount of damage he can do to me is with an Ice Beam. Uh, I think, unfortunately, he's going for Pursuit here. And I'm locked into Psy Shock. <laughs> he, played, he played me good there. Um, but, I, I mean, I, there's, there's no point in me staying in. There's a chance he doesn't go for Pursuit here. A, a pretty good chance he does. Um, it might not kill me. No, it's super effective, and I'm only slightly defensive. I can't stay in. I really cannot stay in here. Unfortunately, I think this is Remix going down. Ah, shoot. He played me really good there. My best answer to him is um, Vaporeon, actually. He takes very little from most of his attacks. So let's do that. Let's go into Vaporeon. I'm protecting the pursuit. Yeah, he is going to pursuit me. Maybe I live it. I, there's no point in me staying in, even if he is going for pursuit. It didn't do anything for me. I had to switch. Come on, baby. Live it. Live it, please, Remix. Ah, oh, shoot. I mean, I don't regret any of the plays I made there. I put him in a position to make a very good offensive switch, but uh, I couldn't let a plus three slow king just play around like that. That did not, that would not work for me. Extreme speed won't one hit KO this man, but it will help. Couple of things here. Um, the knockoff from a Mega Absol will hit me for 54 to 64 damage. A Sacred Fire. No, I can't Toxic anymore. I forgot. Part of the reason I brought Toxic on this was for the Slow King. Unfortunately, the situation I could have toxic him is kind of gone now. And that burn is actually going to end up hurting me more than helping me. Uh, I can go into Hippowdon and one-shot him with a superpower. However, his switch into Hippowdon for days is the, um, is the Crobat. Vaporeon could come in and shoot off a Scald. It should be a two-hit KO. Sucker Punch and Knock Off. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's go into Vaporeon here. No, I shouldn't have done this. Because he's going to bring in... Um, he's going to bring in Slow King now. I should have gone Mega Pinsir. <clears throat> Yeah, that would have been a better move. Oh, shoot. Uh, that wasn't the best move on my part. Pinsir is the highest damage I can do to Slowking. I gotta go into Pinsir. Slowking's gonna come in here. Lux Bay. Okay. Now, I don't know if Luxray is scarfed or not. It could be. It could be Guts, and he might have... No, it's not Guts. I did not anticipate that switch. That was a good switch. Luxray. Speed is 70. If he's Scarfed, he will outspeed me. I'm not sure what he is. Special or... Yeah, Thunderbolt can kill me. But he didn't get the Intimidate off, so Earthquake will kill him. 
Now's a good time to see if he's scarfed or not. If he is, then he goes for an electric type attack, maybe a rock slide or something. Let's bring in Trip, then I can switch Trip back out again to get some more leftovers recovery. He's staying in. I think he's going, I think he's scarfed and I think he's going for an attack right now. No, he's going to withdraw also. So he's not scarfed. We know I outspeed him. Into Flairder Mouse. U-turn would be a good move on his behalf. But once again, we've seen the Brave Bird. We've seen the Taunt. I could go back into Decisions. How much does an Earthquake do to that Slow King? 32. That's a high roll. Call it 30. That's not enough, even though Scald won't two hit KO. Because I think he's going to U turn here. I say we do it anyway. I say we go Nato Nato. He could Brave Bird, trying to pick up the kill, and this won't do much to me. He could Roost. Now he's going to U turn. Maybe Slow King. If it's Slow King, it's gonna Sasha. The Del Fox. Grass Knot on the Del Fox. Will that kill me? Del Fox with leftovers. It won't. But it'll put me so close that it's not really worth it, especially given that this is really not his most scary mon. He could predict the Zoolander again. Could go Entei. I mean, Psychic is a safe move for him also. Because he can switch it up. He could go Grass Knot, but then next turn he's going to outspeed me and he'll go for Psychic. And that'll be too much damage. So let's go Zoolander instead. Yeah, because the Grass Knot will kill. Probably. The Grass Knot is likely to kill. Um, <clears throat> we go Zoolander here. Hopefully he doesn't double. It'd be a good double. He looks like he didn't. Grass Knot's not going to do much to Zoolander. I know it doesn't seem right, but yeah. So I'm very lightweight. I'm pretty specially defensive. Doesn't do much. I'm going to go ooh, Heal Bell. I know I'm Scarfed. Let's think. He, if he's ballsy and he wants to go for a kill here and he stays in, Scald would have been the best move. But if he switches into Slow King, it would not have been. Heal Bell gets rid of the burn. If I go Wish, I can pass that healing onto Trip, who can probably survive. One Psy Shock on the incoming? Yeah, easily. So I could wish to him. I could get rid of the burn, though. But he might get it right again with another Scald. Let's wish. He's gonna... S yeah. I, I think I did it right. No, I should have just switched right away. His best play is probably to go for Calm Mind here. He goes straight for the Psy Shock. That shouldn't kill me if it's not at plus one. It's close though. It's really close. I get some health back with the Wish. So 
some chip damage here and there. He's probably going to start setting up Calm Mines. I got to go for Giga Drains. He could switch into Flurber Mouse here. He's going to go for the Psy Shock again and just try and take me out. I got to get as much damage on this man as possible. I actually think he goes for it one more time. I think he goes for it one more time. I think he really wants Trip dead. I think I could switch into... I think I can make an offensive switch here. Psy Shock will hit for 39. I know this seems crazy, but I don't think he's going for Scald. I'm going to switch into Cuddles. I think he's going for Psy Shock. I think I can take it. He's going to withdraw into Sasha. Damn it, I should have gone into Entei instead. Shoot. I outspeed this guy after I Mega Evolve, but I have not Mega Evolved yet. Fire type move is going to absolutely roast me. Hmm. Wish I still had Ditto. I mean, there's no chance I don't die to a Fire-type attack. And I'm, it's a pretty good shot that that's what he goes for. Let's go Decisions here. And then let's start clicking Stone Edge, because I'm not sure I have alternatives. I know he's going to go for a Fire-type move here. I'm pretty sure he'll go for um, Psychic right after and hit me pretty hard. He's going to go for Fire Blast. He connects. Oh, that's so much damage. Maybe that means he's modest. That would mean I outspeed him. That would be nice. Because I did a lot. That did so much, actually. Uh, I think he's modest. Um, Stone Edge will kill. I'm going to click Stone Edge. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. He's going to withdraw Sloking. Potential to two-hit KO with the Stone Edge here, although I have to hit both of them. Yeah, okay. Okay. I have to hit a Stone Edge here. Does he go for Scald? Or does he go for Slack Off? Or does he switch? If he Scalds, I could switch into Zoolander. Have him take a little more burn damage, outspeed him, and kill him with that. Oh. I could switch outright. If I miss the Stone Edge... Please. 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 He's gonna withdraw. Okay. Whew, thank God. Uh, who into? Lux Bay. He's gonna take it adequately after the Intimidate. It might even be a two-hit KO still. I hit it. Not gonna be a two-hit KO. Leaving him plenty of reason to stay in and go for an attack on me. Man, this is getting intense, Lars. Super intense here. Luxray. I'm trying to see if he has anything, really. He could learn Zen Headbutt, I think. No, he can't learn Zen Headbutt. So Trip walls him pretty adequately. But Nato Nato would also wall him really well, even with the Ice Fang. And I'm not taunted right now. Obviously, I'm not going to go for the Stealth Rocks, because Mega Absol is still around. But, you know. Hidden Power Ice? 
Yep, Hidden Power Ice shouldn't kill. <laughs> Pretty close, though. <laughs> Pretty close. That did a lot. Let's see. Uh, he can probably kill me with that. Yeah, with 100 HP left, only like a third of the rolls have me surviving here. So then let's go trip. Oh, wait, because if it's ice, if it's HP ice, it's going to hit both of them super effective. But trip shouldn't take too much from it. Man, I know, I know I'm taking a really long time here, but... It's just risky, that's all. Last calc I'm doing here, guys. Last calc. If it's HP, hidden power, ice against me here. That's too much. Let's go trip to do our best to take what could potentially be an HP grass, but is probably an HP ice. I don't know why he would pat grass unless he wanted to hit the Vaporeon. He doesn't need to hit the Vaporeon. It's ice. Maybe I can take it because I have an assault vest. 106 down to 50. So too much, especially after the burn. Now we know it's ice. He's not choiced. Probably. He's probably not choice. I know I'm just like chipping myself down here. But. Can Zoolander take a lightning bolt from this guy? Decently, but not worth it. Tough situation, guys. I mean, decisions can come back in being unintimidated and kill with a stone edge. Let's do some shenanigans here. I'm going to do some shenanigans here. I'm switching into Vaporeon, predicting the Hidden Power Ice. He could switch it up there. He could really do that. Yeah, he's going to Volt Switch. Shoot! I did that wrong. Again. <laughs> Again, I did it wrong. Slow King. Mr. Man. Mr. Man. Well, he brought that in at just the right time. All three of my walls are weakened, and he is not. Vaporeon is going to get outsped here. Cuddles is outsped until I Mega Evolve. Decisions is outsped. Ah, very good. Yeah, very, very good. What health is everything at? Let's click Scald. I think I die here. Earth Power, I don't think I can take that. Unless he's like a Leftovers variety. Yeah, unfortunately, Zoolander goes down. I'm getting chipped away here. Oh, you know what I should have been doing, guys? <laughs> Ditto is gone. And Vaporeon is gone. Cuddles comes in, Mega Evolves, I have to take an attack. He could have Rock Slide. If I have to take an attack, why don't I just quick attack this man? He's going to outspeed me, that's what I need to remember. Stone Edge will wreck me, absolutely wreck me. I... <sighs> If he has the rock type coverage, then I have to go for quick attack. Unfortunately, I don't think a follow up extreme speed from Entei kills him. What can I do? Uh, I think he cleans up, unless. <sighs> I 
I mean, he's got to have the rock coverage. If he does, then all I can do is quick attack. That's all I can do. I can't do anything else. He's got to have the coverage. I got to click quick attack. There's no other opportunity here. There's no other opportunity. I have to click quick attack. If he doesn't, and he has to go for like HP Ice, then I outspeed this turn and HP Ice won't kill me. Only a rock type coverage will kill me. He goes for U-turn. Okay, so no rock type coverage. That's beneficial. Luxray goes down even after an intimidated his remaining health to my Earthquake. Okay. Okay, okay. Crisis averted. We've seen U-turn. We've seen U-turn, and we've seen um, Earth Power. On Flairder Mouse, we've seen Taunt, U-turn, Brave Bird. He will outspeed me. Brave Bird will probably kill me. Quick attack almost certainly will not kill him. Yeah, it won't. Nato, Nato. Nato, Nato. Can you take two? Can you take two, Nato, Nato? I don't think you can. Wow, there's a chance I can. <laughs> oh, actually, after lefties, I almost certainly... Yeah. After lefties, I definitely can. So, I think he taunts. He could roost himself. I don't think he'll go for the kill. I can't switch, though. I'm going to click Slack off, force him to taunt. He does taunt. That's okay. All that got me was an extra turn of, uh, an extra turn of lefties. Now what I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to continuously click Earthquake until I die or he clicks Roost. I'm going to click Earthquake once, actually, and then we'll reassess. He is going to roost. Oh, please kill this man. Please kill this man. Oh, come on, baby. It's not going to kill him. Oh, I did so much, though. He's not going to click it again. He's going to U-turn out, probably. There's no way he clicks Roost again here. If he does, he's a man, but I could switch into Decisions. I don't think he'll Brave Bird because it's not killing Nato Nato. Uh, there's no point in him clicking Taunt. I think he U-turns here. I think he does. Let's go decisions. Come on, baby. He does U turn. Okay. We got to see what kind of HP Slow King is at. Slow King is more than likely coming in. I think the time of him winning by uh... Suck It Bob, yeah. A little lefties, a little burn. Mm. Stone Age is 34 to 41. Possible that it kills him. I mean, I have to hit it. He could go for Scald here. And I could go into Trip. 
Something on his team needs to go down sooner or later. I mean, he could just straight up like recover on my face. I don't have Vaporeon if I was pre if I were predicting that water move. He's going to want this guy dead though. So he'll probably go for the Scald, but a Scald followed by... A, yeah, Trip's not going to be any worth. I gotta go for the Stone Edge here, and I need to not miss it. That's pretty much it. Well then, should I just go for something else? I don't think I'll kill. Time's running out. I'm clicking Stone Edge. Please hit. Yes! <sighs> Frick. Well, the, the, skull, the Burn should take him out. The Scald is going to take Decisions out, unfortunately. Come on, I need the burn to take him out here. Please, please take him out. Here's my follow up to this. I have to go for, I have to hope he doesn't. I have to click Swords Dance. And hope he doesn't burn. With Scald. I think. Man, that sucks. Well, do I actually... Let's think. Between the Crobat coming in and being able to bra outspeed and Brave Bird, I could be at plus one if then Luxray comes in. If I burn, I lose. There's a good chance I lose anyway. It comes down to this, guys. Um, does he burn me with a Scald as I go for Swords Dance? Does he recover? I'm going to click Swords Dance. There's too many... He is going to withdraw, giving me that straight up plus two. He's going to switch into Luxray. Luxray is going to get outsped. I'm at plus one. Earthquake should kill him. So I'm plus one. <clears throat> it's no plus two. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It is a plus two, but it's also a minus one. Let's click Earthquake and kill this man. Fastest Earthquake in my life. We're down to six minutes left. Uh, I've taken him down two. Entei is gone. Guys, I just realized the time. Um, and he is now lost Luxray and Slowking. No, he switched out Slowking. He's only lost one month. I really hope he doesn't timer stall me here, but I, I can't front the guy if he does. There's only six minutes left. He could turn this down to only a couple of turns remaining. I'm at plus one. Quick attack, he's probably calcing to see what kills at this point. Quick attack will not kill the Landorus. So Landorus could come in. I really hope he doesn't timer stall. I'm down to three, he's down to five. Quick attack will do 50 to 59. Oh no, he'll probably do more than that, because for some reason that, that hit really hard against that Landorus earlier. Yeah, I think he's... He's either calcing or he's stalling the, the timer out. I hope he's not doing that. I don't want to Twitter him and tell him please don't stall, but let's look at the time. It's been almost a full minute here. Hmm. Let's figure everything out here. Absol. Sucker Punch won't kill me. Come on, Lars, don't end it like this, man. This has been such a good battle. This was such a good battle, and it kind of came down to the wire moment here, and Sasha comes out. I should outspeed because I'm max speed. Sasha's 104. Let's click Earthquake. I mean, he might just be baiting the Earthquake, stalling the timer so that he can switch out into... 
I want to give Lars more credit than this, but... Yeah, I think what he's doing here is he's baiting the Earthquake so that he can go... Why didn't I just click Return then? Yeah, he's going to switch right into Landorus. I'm so dumb. I'm so stupid. Quick attack. He's just going to try and switch around so that he doesn't have any deaths, and he's going to stall out the timer so that I get zero kills here. Why didn't I click return? Why didn't I click return? God, I'm so dumb. Why did I let him do that? He would have been at four. Three to four. Ah, come on, Geo. I can't hate on Lars for timer stalling. I mean, I can't. Like, he wants to win. Crobat goes down. It's three to four. I can survive a sucker punch from... Uh, I mean, I think his best bet here is Landorus and hope it doesn't go down to a quick attack. But he has 90 seconds, then an additional 90 seconds. If I make it 3-3, it comes down to HP remaining. Slow King. How are you, Slow King? I click return here. Actually, I know the timer is super low here. He's going to withdraw to try and get as much HP as possible, but return can kill. It can kill Sasha. Can it? Yeah, of course it can. Come on, Pincer. Come on, baby. Bring it back. Two minutes left. Two minutes left. Delphox went down. Suck it, Bob comes in. He's trying to get to a point that he can survive a plus one. <sighs> can he? Potentially. But no guarantees. No guarantees here, guys. Let's uh, cross our fingers. Cause I don't think he can kill me in one hit either. So I clicked return here. <sighs> Come on, Pencil. Come on, baby. Bring it back from the depths. Bring it back, baby. We got one minute and 15 seconds left. <sighs> Pencil, if you kill Suck It Bob here, we win this game. If he switches, we win this game. It comes down to this. It comes down to this. Come on, Pincer. Come on, Pincer. 49 seconds. Pincer, come on. Pincer, come on. Come on, Pincer. This is it. This is the last move of the game. This is the last move of the game, Pincer. Yes, Pincer! Yes, Pincer! Yeah, baby! You got it, Pincer! <laughs> yes, Pincer! Yes, baby! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. It's the last move. Does Mega Absol die to a plus one quick attack? Uh, it's close. Not close enough. Let's click return. It's the last move of the game. What does he go for? A rock type? Let's go into... It's the last move. It's the absolute last move. Timer is up. Does he have anything for me? Fire Blast? If he's fully specially invested, that's jolly. If he's timid, it could kill. He's going to outspeed. <sighs> Shoot. It's not over yet, guys. He could sucker punch. That won't kill me. <sighs> Fire blast if he's fully infested. Let's click return. Wait, no, it does it goes for the attack. 
I thought the last move went for the attack. Oh, shoot. I really want to know what he went for. I really, really want to know. Let's hop on Skype and ask him what his investment was and what he went for. Regardless, the score is going to be 3-2. 3-2 three, two. Three, two in my favor. Because that's what... That's what happened. Unfortunately, I really do want to know what happened. If you guys want to stick around, I will talk about that. Okay, guys, I just talked to Lars. The final move he clicked there was Sucker Punch, which wouldn't have killed me. There's no degree of investment he could have done to have that kill. And uh, I would have clicked Return, which would have killed him. So uh, it, if uh, we had clicked all those moves before timer ran out, it would have been a 3-1 in my favor, so I didn't I didn't stall out the timer at the end there. Um, I talked to Lars, he and I discussed, and he said, he said towards the end there, he realized he could have stalled out the timer for the win. And he said, but I don't know how the GBA would view that. And what I told him was that it would have been completely in his right. This is a competitive league, and you do what you have to do to win. He could have done that. He chose not to do that, and I think that takes that deserves an immense amount of respect. He's earned a lot of my respect for doing that, because the cards unfolded in a situation that made it that had the game been a little bit longer, he would have lost, and I think he played to that, and I think that just, that deserves a round of applause for this man, and... I just, uh, a lot of respect to you, Lars. Thank you for playing that way. Thank you for being a good guy. I can't wait to play you again. Our rematch will be insane. You played incredible. That was such an amazing match. I don't know what else to say. Please go check out his channel, guys. If for no other reason than if he gets enough subs, then, then I win the bet. <laughs> I win the bet, and then he has to be shirtless as we do a duo showdown session. Please go check out his side of the battle. That was an incredible match. Oh my word. Absolutely incredible match. As always, my name's Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.